My name is Dr. James O'Donovan, and in this video, you're going to learn key things that you need to know about a medication called simvastatin. This is a medicine used to lower cholesterol if you've been diagnosed with high blood cholesterol. It's also taken to prevent heart disease, including heart attacks and strokes, and it belongs to a group of medications called statins. Now, your doctor may also prescribe simvastatin if you've got a family history of heart disease or a long-term health condition like rheumatoid arthritis or type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Now, during your first 12 months on this medicine, you'll be offered a couple of routine tests to make sure that your liver is working properly. In this video, we're going to cover who can and can't take it, how and when to take it, side effects, potential interactions with other medications, plus common questions that I'm often asked and where to find more information about simvastatin. So let's start off with who can and can't take it. So simvastatin can be taken by most adults and children over the age of 10. However, it's not suitable for some people. Now, to make sure that it's safe for you, you should tell your health provider if you've ever had an allergic reaction to simvastatin or a similar medication, such as atorvastatin, you've got liver or kidney problems, you're trying to get pregnant, you're already pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding, you have lung disease, you regularly drink large amounts of alcohol, you've got an underactive thyroid gland, or if you've ever had a muscle disorder, including fibromyalgia, or if you've got a history of myasthenia gravis or ocular myasthenia. So how and when should you take simvastatin? Well, simvastatin comes as a tablet, and it's really important to ensure that you follow your doctor's instructions when taking any medication and thoroughly read the information leaflet that is provided with the medicine before beginning treatment. Now, in terms of dosage for adults, typically the daily dose for adults using simvastatin ranges between 10 to 40 milligrams. Now, if you've got extremely high cholesterol levels, you might be prescribed up to 80 milligrams per day. But again, the specific dosage that you need will depend on the purpose of the medication, your exact cholesterol levels, and any other medications that you're taking. If you're uncertain about the correct dosage, it's best to consult your doctor or pharmacist, and don't alter the dosage without consulting them first. Occasionally, simvastatin is prescribed for children, and if this is the case, the appropriate dosage for your child will be determined by their doctor based on their age, the reason for using simvastatin, and other factors. Now, the standard initial dose for children is 10 milligrams, and this can be increased up to a maximum of 40 milligrams. Now, in terms of how to practically take simvastatin, it's best to take it in the evening since your body produces most cholesterol at night. Simvastatin is therefore more effective at this time in reducing cholesterol levels. You can take simvastatin with or without food because it doesn't cause stomach upsets typically, and I'd recommend that you always swallow the tablets whole with water. Another important thing to be aware of is to avoid consuming grapefruit juice when taking simvastatin because this can raise the drug's levels in your blood. Now, if you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If you remember the following day, skip the missed dose and continue with your regular schedule, and never take two doses simultaneously or take extra doses. If you regularly forget your medicine, then I'd recommend that you set an alarm or seek advice from your pharmacist because these can be really helpful ways to help you remember to take your medication. Now, in cases of overdose, taking one extra dose of simvastatin is usually not harmful. However, if you're concerned or if you take more than one additional dose, it's best to contact your pharmacist or doctor. So now that we've covered the practical issues about how to take the medication, let's cover potential side effects because, just like any other medicine, simvastatin might cause side effects for some people. However, not everybody will experience these. So if you do have side effects that are bothering you or don't seem to go away, it's a good idea to chat with your doctor or pharmacist. They may suggest trying to lower the dose or maybe try a different type of statin. Now, serious side effects are pretty rare with simvastatin so less than one in a thousand people might have them. But if you start having unexplained muscle pain, tenderness, or weakness, especially if you're on a higher dose of simvastatin, it's important to stop taking it and call your doctor or dial 111 or the appropriate medical service in your country right away. This could be a sign of muscle breakdown or kidney issues. Also, if your eyes or skin start turning yellow, you notice a change in your pee and poo color, or you get a skin rash with pink red blotches, you should call your doctor because this could be a sign of a liver problem, a skin reaction, or even something called pancreatitis. If you suddenly have trouble breathing, you feel weak in your arms or legs after being active, you've got double vision or you find it difficult swallowing, 
then these might be signs of a more serious condition like myasthenia gravis, and again, you should get help. Now, if you've got any severe breathing and swallowing problems, you should call the emergency services or head to the emergency room immediately. In really rare cases, simvastatin can cause a serious and potentially life-threatening reaction called anaphylaxis. This is where there is swelling of the lips, swelling of the tongue, potentially swelling of the airways, which makes it very difficult to breathe. And like I said, can be life-threatening and you need to receive urgent medical attention if this is the case. Remember that there's a full list of all possible side effects of simvastatin in the medication packet in the leaflet that comes with it so please do read that for more information now if you're contemplating stopping simvastatin due to side effects you should discuss this with your doctor first it might be a reaction to simvastatin or it could be an unrelated issue now your doctor might suggest lowering your dose or changing your medication now there are no withdrawal symptoms from stopping simvastatin but your cholesterol levels might increase therefore elevating the risk of heart attacks and strokes so if you stop taking the medicine, it's crucial to find alternative methods to manage your cholesterol if you decide to stop taking the medicine. This might include lifestyle interventions. Now let's briefly look at some of the potential interactions with other medications. So this is just to let you know that some of the medicine can interfere with how simvastatin works and it might increase the risk of serious side effects like the muscle damage we talked about. Now, for this reason, it's really important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you're also taking any of these medicines. So antibiotics like clarithromycin, rifampicin, or fusidic acid, medicines for fungal infections like fluconazole, certain HIV medications, drugs for hepatitis C, warfarin, which is used to prevent blood clots, cyclosporin for conditions like psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis, danazole for endometriosis, amiodarone, which helps with heart rhythm issues, blood pressure or heart medications like verapamil, diltiazem or amlodipine, colchicine for gout. And so if you take any of these with simvastatin, your doctor may lower the simvastatin dose or switch you to a different statin or suggest you pour simvastatin for a bit. Also, it's important to talk about some herbal medications. So St. John's wort, which is often used to treat depression, can lower simvastatin levels in your blood, therefore making it less effective. So definitely talk to your doctor if you're thinking of starting it. Also, if you're taking coenzyme Q10 supplements, tell your doctor or pharmacist because supplements can affect other medications too. There's no solid proof that CoQ10 really helps when taking with simvastatin. As for other herbal remedies and supplements, it's kind of a grey area. They're not tested like regular medications, so we don't really know how they might interact with simvastatin. So, my personal advice is that it's better to be safe and check with your healthcare provider first if you're taking any of these over-the-counter medications that are not regulated. Finally, let's finish off with some commonly asked questions about simvastatin. So the first one is, how long does it take to work? Well, your cholesterol levels should drop noticeably within four weeks if you take simvastatin regularly as prescribed. The next question is, will simvastatin stop my contraception from working? Simvastatin won't affect any type of contraception, including the combined pill, as well as emergency contraception. The final common question is, can I drink alcohol whilst taking simvastatin? Well, the answer is yes, you can drink alcohol whilst taking it. However, drinking a lot of alcohol may increase the chances of you getting muscle and liver side effects. Now, for more information about simvastatin, including specific issues around pregnancy, breastfeeding and fertility, please do check out the links I've included in the description box of this video. If you've got any other questions, please do reach out in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel for weekly medical education videos. Once again, thanks for watching and bye.